and you're one of those people who want to take the advantage of Bitcoin having to make 100 times of their money. Example, if you have like $10 or $100, you can make 100 times of that. Are you one of these people? If yes, then I have a good news for you. I just want us to learn something very important, okay? Then after that, you decide what to do with your money. Do you still want to go in or you still want to what? Be like, okay, this time around, I'm not going to go in. And before we do that, I want us to go and watch the previous Bitcoin halving that occurred some years back. So you can see the graph of Bitcoin halving. Now, on the year 2013, Bitcoin halving occurs. And look at what happened. The price moved up. Okay, the price was around $12. But after the Bitcoin halving, look at this. It moved up. Okay, it moved up. Okay. Then it consolidated within this A range to the next Bitcoin halving. That happened around this area, 2017. So right after that, what happened again? The price moved up. Okay. Then there was a retracement. Then also the third Bitcoin halving happens around what? 2020 to 2021. Okay. And look at what happened. The price moved up. And now there's retracement. So are we going to see history repeating itself 2024 are we going to see that guys because right now the price is around 60 let's say seventy three thousand dollars i think around that area i think to be corrected are we going to see the price moving very up up to even hundred thousand dollars plus that's the question we are asking ourselves is history going to repeat itself after this bitcoin halving if yes then guys we stand chance to make 100x we stand chance to make good money for ourselves but if it doesn't happen then either we don't lose anything or we lose something so guys this is something i want you to understand okay good so you saw it yourself guys you saw that the first bitcoin having that happened you know 2000 and something you saw that it rise okay after bitcoin having what happened the coin or the price of the bitcoin went up guys now the following bitcoin having the same thing happens the price went up another one happened it went up so now can we confidently say that this year bitcoin having is going to push the price to all-time high i think right now the price is just consolidating around 60 something dollars are we going to see it moving even more than hundred thousand this year that's the question we want to ask. If yes, then of course we can turn our ten dollars, our twenty dollars, our hundred dollars to hundred times. Okay, but if no, if this year we're not going to see what we saw previous years, then it means that if you don't take care, you're going to also lose your money. Now remember, Bitcoin is moved or cryptocurrency is moved by what high? Okay, anytime there is this kind of high. It start pushing the price up okay anytime there is this good news about cryptocurrency you can see it start going up and anytime there is this kind of rumor there's this kind of bad news about cryptocurrency it start going down that is how cryptocurrency work and it's also worked with community okay so right now people are hearing of i was there when someone called mbashiru i've been hearing bitcoin having what is that so i explained to him and he was like oh really then i want to take then i want to take the advantage so i explained to him the implications he was like no i will join this journey i will join this vehicle okay because i explained to him okay so you can see because of what is really happening in the crypto space the news the hype people are understanding the, the, the you know the blockchain the crypto and they want to also want buy something and then keep it for the future so you can see with all this kind of hype it is going to move the price up but if the hype doesn't go like the way we are expecting then of course we can see that kind of movement so i just want you guys to understand this so that you know what to do with your money okay and before then you gotta also be a risk taker if you want to go in so that when it goes up of course you make money when it doesn't happen like that of course you understand what risk means okay now let's go and read something i saw something i was like this is very informative that i have to share with you guys so let's go and read this one too guys look at something very important let's read this part okay i love that part so much hong kong 
goes big on Bitcoin. Hong Kong Bitcoin ETF to start trading by 30th April and could bring in 25 billion. Okay, so when they start trading on this 30th April coming, it could bring the it will bring in what 25 billion dollars. And do you think this money will not push the price up? It's a question I'm asking. So you can see, like I said, these are all news hitting this crypto space. Okay, and when you are a crypto lover and you see this, you are like, hey guys, then I have to go in and secure myself. I have to go in and buy my Bitcoin. Because when this money is pumped in, of course, I'm going to make profit. So you see what happened, guys. So all these things are there to what? To look at if you want to buy cryptocurrency. Okay, and it's very good for you guys to do more research so that you know what to do with your money. If you want to go in, guys, these are something you got to look at before you go and buy cryptocurrency. It's very important, guys. Now, let's look at this again. According to you today, the Bitcoin community recently celebrated the completion of another halving event. This software update which took effect at 8 p.m. Friday, New York time, reduces the reward for mining new blocks by half. Many view this event as a bullish signal for the cryptocurrency. I want to read that again. Many view this event as a bullish signal for the cryptocurrency value. Okay, so you can see that people are looking to see bullish move as far as this halving event is concerned. However, Bitcoin critic Peter Chief offers a contrasting perspective. Chief, a long time skeptic of Bitcoin and advocate for gold, warns. Listen, guys, this is where I want you to look at it. This area warns that the halving may not necessarily lead to the anticipated price increase. He suggests that Bitcoin holders may experience a halving of their net wealth, implying a potential price drop. So can you see this, guys? So this man that says this is Peter Chief. Okay, you can maybe go and read more about him. He's somebody who is more advocate. Okay, he talks about Bitcoin and even gold and stuff. So he warns that the halving may not necessarily lead to the what and spread the price increase. So those who are expecting the price to move at this time, they it may not happen like that. That is why I said you got to be a risk taker. If it goes like that. You thank your God, okay? So let's read down here. Chief expressed his view via Twitter. Relations, Bitcoiner, of the having on the having sorry. Are you guys, you know, commemorating this occasion by, throw, you know, throwing parties tonight? I haven't been invited to any. I think having is an appropriate name for what's happened as soon Bitcoin and hodlers experience a having of their net wealth. As Bitcoin enters a new phase following the completion of its, you know, latest halving events. These are all things that affect Bitcoin, okay? Whether the price will go up or not, some of these things are very important. All right, you saw it, guys. So, it is up to you. What do you think? What do you think, guys? We are all learning. I want to learn from you, okay? Whatever thing you think about this Bitcoin halving and what is going to result, guys, please kindly put it in the comment section and if we're new here i want you guys to join us because for here we educate ourselves because we've been in this game for so long and we don't want anybody to lose money as far as online investment is concerned so guys join us let's move together subscribe and click the notification bell so that you don't miss anything i post on this channel thank you guys see you again bye for now